Good morning, guys. It is time to hit the morning cardio. Alright guys, just got back from the morning walk. It was absolutely fantastic. It was actually a little bit chilly though. Maryland's finally getting to that colder season. Um, and I had to wear like a hoodie and sweat, so it was still a little bit cold for the first like 20 minutes of the walk. But, cardio was a great success. Uh, did my morning meditation, feeling good right now. I did my period of gratitude, where I'm basically thankful for everything that I have in this life. And uh, kind of just propels you through, through the rest of your day in a good mood. And just like, elevates you. Give it a go. Just write down a notebook all the things you can think of that you're grateful for. Even if it's like five things, write them down and carry that gratitude with you the rest of the day. So guys, literally what I'll do is I will take my notebook right here and I'll flip it around so I can show you guys. I'll just take my notebook right here and I'll write down the date, kind of a quote or something, and then I literally just fill in all right here, what I'm grateful for. And if I only have five things, four things, whatever, still write those down, okay? Don't don't think, oh God, you know, man, I don't have anything to write down. You've got something to be grateful for. Write that down. Each day, the more you write down and the more you do this consistently, the more you'll realize that you have more things you're grateful for. Your list of grateful things will continue to grow. It's fascinating. Gotta do it every morning though. So literally, even if you don't have many things to write down today, I promise you in the next few days, in the next week or so, you'll find your list of things you're grateful for growing. Because when you're in a state of gratitude, you end up finding out that as you go through your day, you attract what you are. So if you are grateful for so many things, you'll start noticing things that you didn't notice before that you're like, wow, that's amazing. Or, wow, I'm so blessed. And uh, it's honestly, it's just... It's awesome, so give it a try, and uh, just start your morning with this. It doesn't take long. It takes no more than like a couple of minutes to do, but it will put you in a great mood for the rest of the day. So I hope this can maybe help some of you out, and um, let me know how you like it. Pumpkin spice creamer? I think yes. Ah, uh, you gotta just love Maryland that has that wonderful condensation built up on your window. Gotta squeegee all that so I don't die as I'm driving. I need to be able to see you guys. Oh my god! Guys, it is freezing! Hold up, this is a little bit dark. Let me adjust that for you. There we go. Okay. So I was going to head to the gym, and then I realized it's absolutely freezing, so I threw a hoodie on over my t-shirt. It's arm day at the gym. So I wanted to keep the arms nice and warm as I'm on my way to the gym. And also, I'll probably warm up in this hoodie once I feel like I'm warmed up, have a nice pump, take it off, uh, show the guns to all the ladies, you know how it goes. Um, no, in all seriousness, it's going to be a good day, I can feel it. Been a productive good morning. God, that was close. I know, I'm a turtle killer, I have a straw, I apologize, I have a metal straw but I needed to use a straw and I couldn't find my metal one, so I grabbed a plastic one. I'm sorry. Anyway, arm day, okay, it's arm day. Also, brief overview of today's video. If you guys are wondering, today's video is going to be an epic cheat meal video. So, gonna train today, gonna kinda go through a day in the life, and then it's gonna be a cheat day, so gonna eat some food. It's gonna be good. I might get a burger and fries, might go get some pizza. No, no pizza. Um, could go to Mezcal or El Salto's, they're Mexican restaurants, and I get the fajita tacanas, which is like a shrimp, chicken steak, uh, grilled veggies, and you get like tortilla on the side, and uh, guacamole, and oh my god, just everything. It's so freaking delicious. Love it there. Carbs, fats, and proteins, not too unhealthy, so uh, should be good. All right, let's go to the gym. Enough gibbering, enough jabbering. It's gym time, it's arm day. Let's go get it. I will see y'all there. Probably won't take you in because I'm gonna be filming tomorrow a workout, a back workout. So yeah, see you guys after the gym. Ooh, roll these windows up so you guys can hear me. 
Okay, so just finished training arms at Exile. By the way, if you're in the Baltimore slash Towson area, more so if you're in the Baltimore area, check out Exile Fitness off Pulaski Highway. Highly recommend that gym. It's freaking badass, and uh, they just have so much equipment. It's growing daily. They're expanding it still. Badass gym. Check it out. Anyway, did arms today. Wore my hoodie, as you guys know, because it was freezing cold. Was not expecting to wear it the whole workout, but I did. And I'll tell you, try it out. I think it just kept my whole body warmed up, my arms warmed up and lubed up, you know? And uh, I think it just worked really, really well to give me a solid pump, a solid workout. Just, I don't know, I felt amazing the whole time. Give it a go. Maybe it was just me or maybe it was just today, but try it out. Let me know if you felt great too when you did that. Trained arms in a hoodie. Alrighty, first meal of the day, we got some rice with a little bit of soy sauce, sriracha. Um, 230 grams of egg whites, two whole eggs, and then two sausages. Gonna put this down the hatch. First meal of the day, post-workout, going down. So yeah, honestly, I've been eating this breakfast almost every single day, minus the rice, but I'll do some sort of like carb source bagels, English muffins, but yeah, the 230 grams of egg whites and the two whole eggs with the sausages. Just good source of protein, really, really, really low in fat. The fats you do get in there are healthy from the egg, and uh, just delicious too. I love eating it, so mm, gonna eat this up. I was also going to meal prep today. Found out my chicken I had was five days past the expiration. Smelled it. It wasn't like bad. Just smelled a little bit funky. And I was like, you know what? Don't want to risk it. Don't want to get the Hershey squirts. So I'm actually going to take you guys along with me to go get some food as well. So we're going to head over to BJ's and uh, get some chicken, some shrimp, a little ground turkey. Um, also looking for uh, to get some rice maybe too. Got to start... Um, Really getting serious with this prep. The diet. Also, guys, side note, the stash and the uh, little goatee thing are kind of coming in now. Still look like a 12-year-old, but hey, maybe in three years, we finally grown in. Be good to go. Also, guys, picked up this pumpkin nutmeg nature's wick candle, and I gotta say, this thing is amazing. So I figured since the fall season is almost here, we've got that cool, refreshing, beautiful weather. I was at Target today and I was like, you know, what the hell, let's pick up the candle. It smells amazing. It's got that like wood wick so you can hear it crackling. Honestly, highly recommend it. If you're in a Target, swing by the candle aisle, pick this bad boy up. You will not regret it. Right, getting close to the meat aisle. Let's get our protein. Let's get help. Let's see it right there. A little ground turkey. A little chicken. Guys, whenever I come, I like to keep it pretty simple. Uh, most of the other food is already at the house, so I just get protein, extra protein. So normally, uh, ground turkey, 93.7 lean, uh, shrimp, because you can't go wrong with shrimp. Easy to prepare, low in fat, and then uh, some chicken. That one has a piece of shrimp over here. There we go. So that's honestly what it normally looks like right there. Maybe some rice as well, and that will be it. And I always like to get one frozen thing, that way I kind of have something that I know doesn't go bad and I can pull it out whenever I want, thaw it out real quick, throw it on the stove and cook it up, get a quick source of protein. It's always a solid move. Today we're going to spice it up, get a little bit of uh, jasmine rice. So one thing I really need to invest in is a rice cooker. I don't have that yet. And I know I should have it, but I don't. So I can still cook that rice up. A little source of carbohydrates as I'm trying to cut down this weight. Still need carbs, but just not as much. But it's good to get it from a solid, healthy source versus like, uh, you know, cookies, brownies. If you can get your carbohydrates from a good, clean source, you're going to digest it better. And also, it's going to be hopefully digested better and like utilized. Uh, you're going to be able to basically break it down better and get more of the nutrients from the actual rice and the uh, carbohydrate. It's a good, clean source, good, clean energy. So that's it, guys. We are done with shopping. Gonna head to the checkout. Guys, look at that. Halloween stuff is up already. Halloween. I can't believe it's almost here. I'm excited. Guys, <laughs> I do not know what is on the bottom of that chicken I picked up, but I like picked it up and got like something wet on my hand. I was like, oh, what is that? Being me, I was like, kind of smelled it to see what it was. I don't know why I did that. It smells like butthole, man. It smells like straight butthole. It's disgusting. 
Now I gotta drive home with this on my hand. I couldn't find any hand sanitizer. Ugh. The one time I forget to put a bag, or at least like bag my chicken. Damn it. I knew this would happen. Oh well, let's go cook it. Alright guys, I was going to cook that chicken, but I have a meeting I have to run to, so I had to do a change of plans and whip up some white rice, which by the way smells delicious, and also some shrimp. So that's about 40, no, 37 grams of protein right there with the shrimp, about 60 carb with the rice. And that's the key to the shrimp, a little bit of that Old Bay seasoning, throw it on there, a little sriracha on the rice, good to go. Guys, guess what I just did? I was out at the store, made a little rash decision. I was driving by the uh, liquor store, and I decided to pick up a four-pack of this pumpkin beer, and then also right there you can see, decided to grab a stogie. So tonight's going to be like a bonfire night, drink a beer, just one of these, but drink a beer, have a stogie, sip with a bonfire, relax. This cold weather just has me like, I don't know, just makes me want to like adventure, and uh, Freaking smoke a stogie and drink a beer, like, just living life, man. I freaking love it. Guys, just finishing up a snack. These are the Habanero Barbecue Blue Diamond Almonds. An absolutely delicious snack. Mmm, so good. Guys, we have decided on the cheap meal. We're going Poke Bowl and then a milkshake from Chick-fil-A. So I was gonna go for straight burger and fries, but I was like, you know what, let's keep it a little bit clean and uh, something still delicious and tasty. So that's what we're gonna go for. Let's go pick them up. I'm starving. Let's eat, baby. Oh, here we go. Chick-fil-A time. Oreo milkshake. Gosh, dang it, guys. Why is this so good? Mmm. Oreo milkshake. Wow, so damn good. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm addicted to Poke Bowls now. I absolutely love them. They're so good. Damn. They're not terrible. They're not terrible for you. It's rice, fish, veggies. It's delicious. Mm. This is good too. Seaweed salad. It's tasty.